Hello guys, this is Ed again. I'm making another video today. Actually, uh, this video is about how to check if your car has been in an accident or it's been repainted. I know uh, this is a question that a lot of people do, especially if they're buying a car, uh, if, they, if they're thinking about getting a new car. Uh, most people, they don't think that because the car is newer, um, that the car has been in an accident. This actually happened to me that uh, I bought a 2008 Honda Core. It was nice, clean. I did a car fax on it and uh, there was nothing on the report. So I decided to buy the car. This is a 2008. Uh, but actually I learned the hard way because the car, it was, it has been in an accident. It was rear ended. And I'll show you uh, some of the steps that you could uh, avoid, you know, uh, about getting a, a buying a car with an accident or, or if it's have been retouched and stuff the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you uh, the first thing you do is actually get a Carfax report okay and the uh, the Carfax should tell you if the car has been in an accident yes or not but um, that's not always the case sometimes uh, accidents do happen and they don't get reported to Carfax or or any other uh, website because the car has been in a small accident and the person that was involved in an accident did not report the, the, uh, the accident. So it gets fixed by, by a small mechanic shop or they don't report it. So whatever the, whatever the uh, situation is, it doesn't get reported. So uh, this is uh, th that's a couple things you could do in order to check your car. First thing I recommend you do is just walk around, just do a visual, visual um visual checkup and uh, make sure you know that the color is all nice and crispy all the way around um, you know just to walk around the car just make sure just make a visual check and after that I recommend you do this every car has a sticker a vehicle and identification number and it's actually located in the inside your um, trunk I mean inside your uh, hood in this case, the vehicle identification uh, number is located right here. You guys should see the sticker right here. So this shows that the car has not, you know, that the that the um, trunk and um, that the hood has not been replaced. Okay, I don't see anything abnormal. You know, it's all the same color. So you start doing this. Then I want you to check every door. Every door should have a sticker a vein a, a vein sticker and uh if you guys could see it is actually located in the door jam this is actually right here there's one right here and there's another one in the frame uh it's right here i don't know if you guys could see it so you got one two you check all the doors should have a number you have a vein number because right here there's another one right here and there's this one on the frame Okay, make sure they're there. If you don't see them, most likely is that the car has been in an accident, the part has been replaced, and I will not buy a car, especially if you're spending, I mean, over three, four thousand dollars on a car. I would not buy a car that has been in an accident. Okay, uh, also another thing, you have to check is your trunk. Make sure your trunk has a sticker too. Most likely it's, it's gonna be located right here. And this is the, the problem when I bought the car, I didn't check the trunk. There was supposed to be a sticker right here, and uh, this is the big, a big sign that the car was rear-ended. I do see paint too. The color is a little bit different, and um, and you could tell that this car, um, even though there was no report in the Carfax, the car was rear-ended, and you know, so. There's another one, there's another sticker right here that if you guys could see right here, um, there's one right here and there's another one right here too. So every every door should have a sticker. There's one other one right here. So you go around, you check every door and uh, make sure all the stickers are there. Okay, so I hope this helps you. And if you have any other questions, I could help you with, you know, with just checking stuff and, and make sure you make a, um, a smart decision. Just do your homework, you know, do your research, 
Uh, there's a lot of actually there's actually a lot of websites now that you could uh, go in there and um, just check prices and stuff and and just make sure you get you, you get a um, you get a good um, good value you know that's actually your money all right so thank you very much bye bye